we will now discuss uh, the flip-flops and the first flip-flop that we're gonna introduce is D flip-flop so for a D flip-flop there are two versions let's talk about the first one D is your input this is your only input and this part when you see with a triangle this is your clock this flip-flop is the same as like input and this time the clock has a bubble here again this still works like a clock but we will we will say why why did, that's the difference and your output you you have only one output technically but you also have the complemented version of your output always you don't necessarily have to specify sometimes but uh, I just wanted to show it to you here so what the flip-flop does is a snapshot of your input snapshot of D at a clock transition so we talked about different clock transitions it's either leading or trailing so here is that bubble uh, makes a play if it is if there is no bubble that means the input is gonna be snapshot at the leading edge if there's a bubble then it's gonna be snapshot at the trailing edge so I'll give you uh, two examples for uh, the same same inputs uh, let's consider a leading edge flip-flop let's put it here and let's look at the timing diagram what's gonna happen here so we what we will have to do is to look at the clock so transitions will happen here 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 and here so at the very beginning so D is 0 we cannot really say anything until the tr uh, leading edge so in this part until here we cannot really say anything for Q and Q naught this is basically not defined but as soon as we say trailing edge we all we need to do is to look at all we need to do is to look at what the input is at that time so it is 0 it's gonna be 0 I don't care at D at after that unless I see another leading edge so now I see a leading edge here and the input is 1 that's where I'm gonna go 1 again this transition doesn't matter this transition doesn't matter because there is no clock transition at that moment so I keep on going until I see another leading edge well I look at the input and it is still one so I keep on going another leading edge the input is zero so I'm gonna go to zero since uh, there's no other uh, transitions I'll just stay there so Q naught it's easy to draw it's basically whatever Q is it's gonna be exactly the opposite so now let's think about a trailing edge flip-flop and uh, we will do the exact the same uh, diagram and see what's gonna happen but this time it is important that you're gonna look at the transitions at the trailing edge so this time all the way up here we cannot say what the input output is going to be because there is no trailing edge so this is not defined here's a trailing edge coming so we'll look at the 
you look at the input so it is 1 it's gonna start from 1 goes all the way to the trailing edge and I'm not looking at D at that moment I don't care about this transition now my input goes to 0 so I'll go to 0 I look at the trailing edge still 0 here and here it is 1 so the Q0 is going to be exactly the opposite of what Q is so you take a snapshot only when there is a clock transition either leading edge or trailing edge